pretty sure we're allowed to be here. What do you mean? It's quiet. No one here to bother us. Yeah, that's what bothers me. This is the perfect piece of beach in the middle of summer. Where's everybody else? Who cares? Let's just enjoy it. Mr. Chairman, sir, Lincoln Grant here. Oh, well, I hope you have some good news for me, Dr. Grant. Yes, sir, I do. Stage two is about to begin. You wanted to be informed. Fine. Now, I received a memo from one of your people regarding some previously undiscovered pocket in the Earth's crust. What is that all about? It's just an overexcited scientist trying to make a name for herself. We discovered an ice pocket above an oil bearing zone. Now, she seemed to think there was some safety and environmental concerns. The ice started to melt the moment we broke the seal. We're draining all the water into the lake. There's nothing to worry about, it's just water. I've invested a lot of money into this wildcat well of yours, Doctor. Well, then you may be pleased to hear, Mr. Chairman, that the oil reservoir we're looking at is three times the size we first surveyed. Three times, eh? That's right. Now you are satisfied that all safety and environmental protocols have been met? Yes, sir, I am. See any need to delay any further? You may proceed, Dr. Grant. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So, what's the deal with this place, anyways? Some kind of secret retreat or something? I used to paddle past you all the time as a kid. I just thought it would be a cool spot to hang out. Dive now, though. Yeah, this company used to own this island, like an oil drilling company or something. If you're drilling for oil, why is it so quiet? They're not drilling anymore, you spaz. I heard they abandoned the place. So what's up in this place now? If they're not drilling anymore, they should totally open this up to the public or something. I don't know. Once they stopped drilling, folks just left the island to itself. It's like totally depressing. I know. You want to go for a swim? Like in a pool or something? No, you spaz in the lake. Yeah, I don't think so. What are you, like, scared or something? No. Are you? No. Are you? No. You sure? Okay, maybe a little. Why? You're going to think it's stupid. Don't worry. I already know you're stupid. You're such a cow. <laughs> I'm kidding, seriously, why? You've got to, like, promise you won't tell anyone. All right. I swear. I said all right. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't like swimming in lakes because I'm afraid of sharks. You serious? Serious. <laughs> That's, like, totally stupid, you know? Oh, my gosh, you're such a bitch. You know there's no sharks in fresh water, right? I think I'm stupid. <laughs> you watch too many movies, you know. <gasps> Dr. Grant, Dr. Grant, we can't let you proceed with the second stage. We've already had this discussion. All safety protocols have been met. What protocols? We've never dug this deep before. I mean, the early samples The early were... samples were inconclusive. As were the samples from Site B and Con. Well, I just need another day to confirm the readings from the underground cavern we found. You've already had a week. The cavern was just full of ice. It's just a bubble in the crust. Who cares? I disagree. When it melted, God knows what was released into the lake. What kind of bacteria or worse? Now you're just being overly dramatic. Look, the samples we got are 80 million years old. I just need some more time to make sure we didn't release some deadly toxin or bacteria into the water. I'll go to the board. <laughs> Go ahead. I've already spoken to the chairman. Ooh, trumped. Really? Stage two began 20 
Yeah, because we used to get earthquakes all the time in this area. And that huge explosion. Probably just some bored hillbillies or something. You are like a total psycho. Totally. We should get the hell out of here. You need to relax, you know? swim. You have totally lost your mind, you know? You see? Nothing to worry about. Stop it! What are you gonna do about it? Oh, you...
That cop, man. She put the gun in his mouth and blew his brains out. Yeah, yeah. Help me with this. She's crazy. Hey, don't let her hear you say that. What? Look, you're my only brother. Now help me with this. Expected a water getaway. Was there any doubt? There's an island, a couple of miles ahead. We'll hide out there. Why did I even bring you? 
Oh, um, because uh, my car got us to the boat. And my credit card paid for the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, besides, you might just enjoy yourself out there as well. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, you don't see it? See what? I, uh, got everything, so... Are we ready to go? Yeah, let's load up. What the hell was that thing, man? It looked like a shark. Big ass shark. No way. Sharks live in the ocean. That's a lake. Yeah. There are some freshwater sharks. That's crazy, man. That's enough. One of you need to go back out there and fetch it. Fetch it? Barb, with all due respect, did you see what just happened there? Go fetch a shark. Hey, Jack. Ain't no way I'm going back in there. Whoever retrieves the painting gets half of Jack's take added to their own. Fine. Jerry, no. Don't worry about it, man. What if that shark's still out there? I'm sure it's long gone. Besides, it just ate. It's about 300 feet out. If I calculated it right, parallel. That strip of land. So my share and half a jacks. That's right. Fine. But if I don't make it back, my share goes to Rich. Won't be nine on Jack forever. Right. You really are a heartless bitch.
Jill's idea. She wanted to come and check out the refinery. Bug up her ass about big oil. Refinery? Some big oil company decided to build a research center out here. You mean there are others on this island? There's a lab complex just on the other side. It's where they did their illegal research, but it's deserted. I was hoping to find a working radio still there. Ours got smashed and there's no cell service here. Do you have a radio? Illegal research? Illegal research has been going Stop on Stop it, Jill! Mike is dead because of your vendetta. You're blaming me? How dare you. Stop it, ladies. This is not the time. Jill! Let her go. She just needs a moment. What happened to your boat? That thing trashed it. That thing is a megalodon. What? Reg? It's a shark. A monster shark. Forgive him. He just lost his brother this morning to that thing. How did you guys get to be here? Hey! That camera off hey. me. I was just... This is important. We should document what's going on here. Fair enough. But my friend doesn't like his picture taken. Why are 
are you here? I already told you. No. You didn't. We're Torres. We were out for a sail when that thing sank our boat. Someone's gonna find us, right? People know we're here. Somebody's gonna realize we're missing it, and, and they'll send somebody to find us. That's if the monster doesn't get them first. Reg, that's enough. You're scaring the girls. You saw that thing. No one's gonna be able to get near this island without being eaten. Jerry would have known what to do if you hadn't sent him back into the water. That's enough! Rich, what happened to Jerry was an accident. Both him and Jack are accidents. Right. My camera, please. I promise I won't film you guys. I just want footage of that shark thing. It's going to be dark soon. I suggest we spend the night here, build a fire, and explore the island in the morning. See if we can find that research center. Signal for help. And we should keep the fire going in case someone sees it. Good plan. going near the water. I agree with the lady. I say we cut across the land. It might be quicker, but I don't know what animals live on this island. It might be more dangerous. More dangerous than the shark? I thought this island was abandoned. Why do I keep hearing machinery all the time? I don't know. Let's just go.
we're going to do about them. Don't worry. Got a plan. Still have your radio? Yeah, I'm turn it off like you said. What about Rich? He doesn't have one. He doesn't know we have one. Good. What about the rendezvous? How long is the fire going to wait? Pickup wasn't until today. If we have that long, get the goods. Get off this godforsaken island. Amen for that. What about the camera? I promised it's Kate. How? Can I take it from you? I'm sorry about Mike. He had a thing for you, you know? He what? Why do you think he gave up his vacation? Carry around equipment for you? I thought he was trying to visit you. Me? It's not gonna let us leave the island. Bullshit. It's just a fish. 
No, it's not. That's enough. You two. Help him. Come with us. Where are we going? Fishing. When your shark tipped us into the water, we lost something very valuable. Now you're gonna help us get it back. Wait, we're not going in the water. I wasn't thinking of you. Since this is all your fault, I hope you can swim. No, no, you can't. Well? Then you might as well shoot me. I go in that water, I'm dead anyway. How about to save a life? No. no. She's just a kid. And now you get to decide if she sees her next birthday. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. Wise choice. Hey, Doc. You might want to lose the bloody lab coat. It'd be like barbecue sauce to the critter. It's about 300 feet out. Can't miss it.
don't do that again. Here are the lovely ladies, all ready to be helpful. We'll have to wait until morning. We can't see anything out on the water. What about the rendezvous? There'll be another. But it won't matter if we don't get the package back. Now are you ladies gonna be any more trouble? You're chum, bitch. Tie them up. And then let's all get some sleep. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. My turn now. You get some sleep. Yes, ma'am. I know you're awake. I heard the change in your breathing. From one girl to another? Thank you. I wouldn't be too quick with the thanks. You know what I mean? You're welcome. So what did you steal? A painting. Anything I would know? <laughs> What's so funny? It's a Copley. Art's never really been my strong suit. To me, painting means with a roller. John Singleton Copley. He was an American painter from Boston. He died about 200 years ago. So it must be worth a lot of money. Maybe not to you, but to the right collector. So how did you steal it? Sleight of hand, really. That and a distraction. Keep a cop busy at the bank next to a museum. While they evacuated for safety, we were posing as security helping to secure the museum. So when the cops made their move on the bank, we were already securing the priceless artwork. Hmm. Whoa. But then it didn't turn out the way you'd hoped. <laughs> no. <laughs> we got pulled over by a fucking traffic cop for running the stop sign. By then, our timetable was blown. We barely made it to our getaway boat. And now this. You never did say what was so funny. The painting. It's Copley's Watson and the Shark. A depiction of the first recorded shark attack. I know how to get your painting. How? No. I don't think you have a lot to bargain with. See, that's where you're wrong. I know something you don't. And what might that be? I know you're more worried about missing your rendezvous than you're letting on. And sooner or later, someone's gonna realize that they haven't heard from the research center and come looking. And I know how to scare off sharks. Even big ass ugly ones like that. And what might that be? Dynamite will keep it away. Yeah, that would be great if we had any. I'll tell you where you can find some, on the condition that you let us go. If you can keep that shark away, you have a deal. I'd shake your hand, but I'm a little tied up right now. 
first lights in three hours. there was dynamite, so you let us go, right? <laughs> You're a funny girl. I like that. Now get her up. What? What's, what's going on? Frying pan, fire. Okay, ladies. So here's the plan. And if you don't follow my plan, as I describe, Mr. Doug here, We'll take out his gun and blow your brains out. Any questions? No? Good. Our friend is out there. See him.
off again. Back to work. Oh my god. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? We don't have the shark killing us first. What are we gonna do? I'm thinking. Rich, he's got the gun and the dynamite. If we take him out, we got a chance. Time's a wasting, ladies. Sooner or later, 
It's gonna realize it doesn't have any more food, and it's gonna go looking for some. We're so close to the shoreline. Oh no. What would happen if that thing found a populated beach elsewhere? How do we kill it? The hillbilly way. Thanks, Lisa. Look, 
what I mean is I've seen your wife. Didn't I just say I'll knock you out? Now, you and I both know that your wife is a large, burly, open ass woman. No, actually, does not look like she shares anything to do with that with your wife. Well, it's like they say. Even big, ugly things can have offspring. <laughs>